Hi there. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D ornament, um, in particular using the Ornament Keepsakes Bundle from the um, 2012 Holiday Mini Catalog, Stampin' Up! Holiday Mini Catalog. So using this stamp set and the coordinating framelit dies. Okay. So first what you want to do is you want to stamp your images. You need a minimum of three images. Here I stamped the ornament, the biggest ornament, um, in cherry cobbler on very vanilla cardstock. And then you're going to take your multi-purpose platform for the big shot, clear cutting mat. Look how clean that is. I pulled a clean one out just for the video. My regular ones do not look like that. Now I'm going to pull out the coordinating framelit and put that over top. Now if you haven't used the framelits before, there's two sides. There's a flat side and then there's a side with the raised surface. The raised surface needs to be face down because that's going to be what cuts. So then you position that until you're happy with it. Put it down a bit. And then you put your top cutting mat down on top, being careful not to move it. Sometimes if you find that you have a problem with them moving when you put the top cutting mat down, if you use a post-it note to hold it, just put that over top, that'll hold it in place. Okay, and then you just feed that through the big shot. And you wanna do that multiple times until you have, like I said, at least three of these. And then you're just gonna use your scoring tool. You can use your score, your Simply Scored tool. Um, score down the center like this one is, or you can use a bone folder and a ruler as well and then fold in half, and these will work with any symmetrical shape, so circles, ovals, um, any of these ornaments. Um, I'll show you a few samples with some of the other ones that I've done afterwards here. I like to use the bone folder to make them nice and crisp, so then you've got three that are exactly the same, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my snail, apply snail all over, and I'm going to line this up so that it matches perfectly. Close that down. So now you've got two, and you could leave it like that. Um, obviously, the more that you add, the fuller it gets. I find three is a good number. I've got a little bit of a glob there. It's okay. And then do that next one. Again, line it up. Okay, so then you have this gorgeous 3D ornament. Um, and you can do them, keep going all the way around, put a little um, a string in between with a little bobble hanging down. You could do some cute little Christmas ornaments. Um, and I'll show you a few other things that I've done with it here. So there's that one. I'll leave that there so you can see it. And this one was done using a different shape. So it was this shape from that same framelit set. Except instead of stamping it, I cut it and then embossed it using the lacy brocade or lace brocade embossing folder, which is new in the holiday mini catalog. Did three of them. I shimmered, shimmer painted them. What I did was I mixed my shimmer paint with rubbing alcohol and then spritzed it to give a little bit of a shimmer. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, and I'll do another video to explain how I do that as well. Okay, so there's that one. Um, here is a full card. This was done using the same shape as this one, just with the stamped image. Um, and then I used another one of the new embossing folders there. And if you look closely, you can see that there's a little bit of shimmer on there as well. I love the shimmer paint with rubbing alcohol combination. Okay, so there's that. You, like I said, you can do it with other shapes as well. Here's one that was done using scout circles to create a little ladybug. So this one has four of them in there. So that's a little bit more. And then this one is done using the Elegant Butterfly Punch from the 2012-2013 um, Stampin' Up! catalog. And this one was done using five layers. But if you look at that, it looks like the butterfly is flying like that. It just looks amazing. Hopefully I'm showing you the right view here. Can you see it? I love the look, the dimension on that. It looks beautiful. It's like the butterfly flying right off the page. So this is just a little 3x3 three three note that I made. All right, so that kind of gives you an idea. I've had so many questions on how this ornament on the front of the Holiday Mini Catalog was created. Um, and you may see a class on this or not. I haven't tried to make the full ornament yet, but um, 
it gives you an idea on how it was created. So basically they used a few different shapes, but what I've shown you how to do is one of those petals. So then you just have to do multiples and use hot glue to stick them together. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. It's a quick short one, but it just gives you a different idea on how to get a little bit more dimension on your cards. Um, and it is nice because they do fold relatively flat so that you can pop them in an envelope and mail them as well. All right. Thanks for watching. And you can visit my blog for more inspiration at www.stamptreasures.com.